I'm Lucas Boyd, and I'll be interviewing these two critics about their personal opinions on the book, The Great Gatsby. On my right, I have Tom Seastep. And on my left, I have Caden Riddle. How y'all doing today? Good. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Good, good. I have some questions for you today. Not right. that it'll work, yep. Okay, first question. In The Great Gatsby, who do you think is the most interesting character? I'm probably going to have to go with uh, Gatsby, mainly because of his, uh, I think it's interesting how he served in the war and he was a military veteran, but also the fact of, you know, how he is an organized crime and, you know, those two things that are clashing there. And to go back to the military, he kind of reminds me of my friend Johnny Thompson, uh, where, you know, just where he's a military man. Uh I like how he's determined to find the woman of his dreams, and he even waited five years to get this woman, Daisy, even though she's not even that bad, but uh, he's an honorable man, you know? I thought that Nick was a really interesting character. In his journal, he said he was a reliable narrator, but he kept contradicting himself, saying that Gatsby was exempt from all of his opinions. It was also really weird how he seemed to push people away when they tried to get close to him, except for Gatsby. He didn't care that Gatsby was in organized crime and continued to talk to him and go out with him. So, Caden, what do you think is the most exciting or boring part of the book? Well, I think that chapter one in The Great Gatsby is the most boring part of the book. Nick goes into excessive detail on every little thing that happens, and it continues to drag on and on and on. I do not find it very enjoyable, and I'm sure a lot of people didn't either. But to contrast what he said, I think the most exciting part of the book is probably whenever Myrtle just gets straight run over by Daisy and Gatsby's Rolls Royce. It's such an unexpected moment, don't you think? I do agree. I mean, like, who's expecting, like, Myrtle, she just thought, well, they're... What themes stood out to you the most in this book, Thomas? Uh, I'll probably have to say the lack of morality that everybody had. Uh, I mean, there's plenty of examples of it. Uh, ma mainly, a lot of them come from Tom, whether he, you know, he's slapping Myrtle or he's cheating on Daisy herself. And, I mean, even Daisy, she ran over Myrtle, like I just said earlier, with no remorse whatsoever. To piggyback off the prejudice part, I think that the novel is very adamant on the amount of prejudice that it has. Tom, for example is racist. He absolutely despises anyone that is not white. But he also thinks that anyone who has new money is absolutely awful. He talks down to them. He insults them constantly. Just does not want to be around them. Refuses to. I agree with that. Honestly, I think this book kind of trash. I'm joking, Dr. Elizabeth Bevins. Um, it's actually a good, kind of decent book. Uh, I think it starts off a little too slow. Um, and it's a little too in-depth for just the average reader, you know, to go and look at it because, you know, there's, there's a lot of elements in it that requires a lot of deep diving. So, something a little more superficial that could, you know, you know, more surface level for average readers to, you know, to look at would be a little better. Uh, but other than that, I think it's a good book. Just not really my cup of tea. Okay, final question. What are some qualities that make The Great Gatsby work or not worth reading? I thought the brief was it's, very interesting. It's a book. The book was very worth reading. The characters were characterized really well, and their values showed throughout the book due to Fitzgerald's great and amazing writing. Um, Gatsby's backstory caught me off guard very much because the way he went into organized crime just did not seem right with me. Nick, he kept the theme of just ignorance all throughout the book, and I don't think he really should have, especially with Gatsby around and Tom. Tom was not a good person whatsoever. All in all, though, I think the book was very worth reading, and I think everyone should give it a chance. Overall, would you give The Great Gatsby a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Probably give it a thumbs down. I give it a very big thumbs up. What is that?